click the font in your IT. So now font dialog uh, font dialog one dot show dialog. It works exactly the same way. All the all of those dialogs have the show dialog method, which uh, shows the the, the selection window for you. And now we will update text box one dot font equal um, font dialog one dot font. Okay. So now we read the information and put it in. Uh, we read the new font and set our text box font here. So run the application. Write anything. Then edit font. We will use a bold 12 font. You can see the, the font is changed now. Okay, so we get, uh, now finish the font. Let's go to the copy, cut, and paste. The copy, cut, and paste are actually very, very easy to implement, and uh, that's because Visual Basic uh, provides us with something called the clipboard, and uh, we're going to use that for the copy part. We'll just copy our selection and put it into the clipboard and to do that we write clipboard.setText and the selection is textbox selected text. okay so this part will get the selected text from our notepad and we set the clipboard text to it okay uh, the next part is uh, the cut part the cut the cut is very similar to the copy actually the first step is to copy the information into the clipboard and second step is to clear it from the text box so text box one dot selected text equals nothing as you can see here the last part is the paste and this one involves just get reading information from the clipboard and writing it into the text box so text uh, box one dot se selected text equals the clipboard uh, dot get text Okay, so now uh, let's run the application. Okay, write anything here. Okay, and select this one. Let make a copy of it and edit paste. This is it. Now we are gonna select the first three, edit, cut this one, and edit paste it. There you go. Uh, so we have now finished the copy, cut, and paste command. We have one final thing is the the about button, and for that we are going to use a simple dialog. Uh, it's called the message box, and this message box actually it has a lot of uh, useful uh, functionalities. Okay, so let's go here. This one is uh, it's not a control, rather than a, um, a method that you call at runtime. So double click on the about button and right away you write msg box. It has a number of interesting parameters. The first one is the prompt and here is the description of what does it do. Uh, this one is just, uh, this is a vb.net test or tutorial, it's up to you. You write any message you want to display on the, on the screen and then you get those list of uh, uh, button combination. We want to display the OK button only, so there is an OK only constant here. Finally, you we, you get the uh, title, and this one will be my notepad. Okay, let's put the space right here. Okay, so now. This is very easy. Message box. This is a test. The number of buttons or the type of buttons you want to display and the title of your message box or dialog box. Now let's test our application. Press run, press help, press mm -hmm. about, and you can see this is your message box. Okay, so press OK and that's it. So we have just finished designing our notepad. Uh, in our uh, design, we saw how to define a menu very quickly and how you uh, set uh, uh, its methods, also by double clicking, very similar to the command button. Uh, we saw how to add those separators. Okay, 
and we saw how to work with a number of dialogs which are the file file dialog open fi uh, sorry save file dialog open file dialog and font dialog there are more dialogs of course but those are very basic one or the important ones okay we have uh, one more thing well we want to make our menu accessible by the keyboard and for that uh, uh, by that I mean uh, if I press the alt key I want to see some kind of underlined characters that if I press the menu opens right away you can do this to your uh, menu just uh, click the menu item and when you can modify it just add the simple and before the hotkey letter so now the F will be the hotkey and for the new I will add the and button here and you can see the end okay for the open I will add, add the end here for the save it doesn't have to be the first character it can be any character within command and this is the close okay and to test our application now you can see the file menu is more highlighted and now I will press O right away you can see this is it okay this is the open file dialog I'll cancel this one and close the application okay so this is the first form then the second form which is uh, the shortcut key here uh, the command is executed without having to open the menu by pressing control something and for this I'm going to try to add the control N so you click this uh, menu item once and you go to the properties window to space properties there should be something called shortcut and sorry and where is the shortcut keys this is it you click on that we will select the control then M enter enter again and you can see here it's control N click once on open and we'll do something similar which is control O this control O okay the same for save shortcut key So we can add those shortcuts. Let's save our work. Press run again. Okay. So Control O opens the open button right away. This is because, as you can see, the shortcuts are available here. So you can define any combination shortcut you you find necessary. Okay. So in the end, we are able to define or write this simple Notepad application uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, yeah. We were able to define uh, this menu. We are able to work with a number of dialog boxes. We are, we are not concerned with the programming part right now. We will, there will be more to programming it later on. But I thought it's necessary to concern, uh, to just uh, uh, understand a little bit more about controls and things like that. Okay. So uh, if you want to see the source code or sample of this application you can download that from the website there is also a pdf tutorial about it it's a little bit different uh, from this one but it have the same principle and uh, uh, if you have any notes or uh, you have any suggestions to make the tutorials better i will be happy to receive them and uh, know what you are thinking of so please pay a visit to the website, uh, write this uh, tutorial and uh, hopefully uh, I will have enough time to ha answer all of you and hopefully uh, <coughs> uh, you will find this tutorial useful. So uh, enjoy yourself with review programming and have a nice day. Bye bye.